Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am in Walmart. I'm here for just a few things. I'm mainly here to pick up my mother's meds, but she wants me to get her some face cream. This is the equivalent of Noxzema. She's been using this for years. And uh, I called about her meds in advance because I couldn't take another mistake and having to wait. They didn't make a mistake this time. So I'm gonna pick that up, pick up a few things, and I'll chat with you in the car for a few minutes. Beer, my old hangout. And I really could go for an ice cold beer or a margarita or both <laughs> together. <laughs> I, I even loved beer on ice. I just loved ice cold beer. Pour it on ice, guzzle it down. All right, let's think of something else now. Uh, it's not my day. I insisted I was going to try their roast beef no matter what the price was and I couldn't believe they said we have rare medium rare and medium and I said could I see the rare please and it looked pink enough for me but it was 10 bucks a pound I just couldn't do it I just couldn't and then I promised myself some large curd cottage cheese I gave up that like in the spring I think it was and I haven't had any since I bought some at Hannaford what was that just yesterday I accidentally grabbed small curd. I was so sad. Thought I'd get large curd today. They don't have any. All right, I'm at the sweets to see if they have anything for my mother. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get her these little uh, mini donuts, $2.11. There's quite a few of them in there. I think we'll do that. You know what, I changed my mind about those mini donuts. I'm just afraid they'll be dry and I don't know. I'm supposed to start making her things, but I haven't yet. Ah, I want to do concoction videos, but I feel weird doing them, not tasting the food. You know, it's just weird to make something and then say, this is what it looks like. I'm not telling you how it tastes or if it came out right. Okay, I need to um, get a few more things. I'm on a bacon kick. And uh, because I can't stomach hardly anything, so bacon, it seems to be okay and the smell doesn't make me want to puke. I'm giving up on bacon ends. I want bacon, crispy bacon, and I bought some at Hannaford yesterday and cooked it, and it was so good. And now I'm picking some up here. I'm picking up three pounds, and it is uh, the Great Value brand, and it's $4.44, which is better than Hannaford price, which was $4.99. So I'm gonna try this, three pounds worth. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'll like it. It's just the original um, natural hickory smoke. I don't care for the apple wood or whatever. I tried that before and it was like, yuck. And now I want some chicken wings. I'm trying to just find stuff that I feel like eating. I'm so freaking hot today. I just can't wait for hot weather to go away. Okay, I'm just getting the great value wings. I'm getting two bags. This is the buffalo style. There's no sugar on this one. Um, and it is uh, $6.98 for one pound, 12 ounces. All I can get at Hannaford is the Anytizers, and I just don't care for those that much. I mean, I'll eat them because they're edible, but uh, I'm going to give those a try. That is it for my list, and uh, I'll talk to you in the car. I don't want to turn down my AC. So hot. Oh. I got in my car, and the guy next to me had his car running, and he was on the phone, and... It just bothered me a little bit, and he was like right next to my window, and I thought, I'm going to move and then talk to you. But then the, the car, it was a Jeep, on the other side of me, I went on that side to put my bag in the front seat. It's a Jeep, and it was all open, all open, and she had like a, like a travel kind of suitcase right there on the floor in the front. I was inches from it. And then between the seats, I say she, only because it looked like something a woman would have. And also in the center between the seats, a big tote bag, like kind of opened up, looked like there was like a wallet in there and all kinds of other things. And I thought, you know, how trusting she is. Now, I actually believe most people are honest and would not take anything like I did. No. <laughs> would not take anything out of that Jeep. But then you know there's people who actually like will break windows to grab something. So it's just, um, that's just very, very trusting. And, um, you know, I, I just, I wouldn't be able to shop comfortably knowing my stuff is 
there. I don't know. I don't know. That was just, you know, anybody could just, just take it. But, uh, but I really do think most people would not. Um, I don't know. All right. Um, I am out, like I said. Oh, I did self-scan, and I didn't remember taking my mother's pills. Oh, that just fucking made my heart go up into my fucking throat. All right, I have her pills. Um, that's why I came here, and like I said in the store, I wanted to pick up some more bacon and stuff right now. Right now, I can't even imagine ever wanting to eat. I'm trying so hard. This sickness that I get is just like I've said. It's like morning sickness or, or um, you know, motion sickness, and... I just, I felt good today. I slept better last night, and I I made sure to make sure that the phones couldn't ring. I want to still say, took it off the hook, but that's not what we do. I, uh, I woke up feeling better, more rested, and, uh, but then when I started cooking my lunch after a little while, I just started feeling not that great, and then I put my fan on, and it fucking blew, uh, uh, the smell of the pork that I was cooking. It was uh, ribs. And it made me instantly sick. Within a minute, I had a headache. And I I just rested. And I did eat. And I felt better after eating. But uh, it just that's just what happens. And I don't know. But you know, when you're eating just meat, you tend to get sick of the stuff that you're eating. Like, you, like you just have no appetite at all. And I, I think that's why a lot of people lose weight, because they just don't eat. But I eat still. They say, you know, just keep eating the meat and, you know, take a bite of something. And if you're hungry, it will suddenly taste good. And But I have times where I just, I could go forever without eating. And I haven't been talking about that much. You know, it's this month will be 22 months. In November, it'll be two years that I've been eating this way. And I know some of you probably are thinking, that's probably why you're sick, Darlene. But no, because uh, it was wonderful for so long. And, you know, now I do have some issues. And one of the things will make me nauseous. So I'm blaming it on that. And even if the doctors said you can't eat that way well I'm gonna die eating that way because I ate other ways all my life and this is the only thing where I have absolutely no issues with food no binge eating desires no feeling bloated no worries about um, eating disorders coming back into my life it is the most peace I've had with food ever. It's, I can't even explain it. For those of you who have struggled all your life with an obsession or dependency or addiction to food, this fucking cures it. And so I'm going to continue eating this way. I can't imagine ever going back. And um, if I've done something for almost two years, <laughs> then you know it has to be working. Because I don't stick with things just for the hell of it. If something gets hard for me to do, I'll go back to doing my old things. It's just like with even alcohol, I always say, it's a good thing that I don't really crave it. Yeah, you know, I sometimes wish I could have a nice drink, but then I know I probably won't feel that good. But if I really had the desire to drink, I would drink because there would be no stopping me. I'm not good at, um, you know, controlling myself. It's, uh, you know, it's just like with the food. Uh, it's, you know, with, with the booze, I had to get rid of, I, I just got rid of all booze and I got rid of anything that made me think of booze. Like, for instance, I couldn't drink juice. Vodka goes in orange juice and any juice. Pineapple goes good with rum. I couldn't drink any kind of juice because that made me want booze because I associated that with booze. I couldn't drink soda because rum and coke. I mean, you know, soda, everything goes with soda. All the booze went with soda. Milk, for the longest time after I quit drinking, I did not drink any milk because that made me want coffee brandy or amaretto or Kahlua or anything that I could put in with the milk. So it's just like, uh, you know, with the food, you know, so after I quit drinking, I, you know, water was my drink of choice. I never was one to have anything just like, you know, scotch and water or scotch on the rocks, you know, so it, water didn't remind me of alcohol. And it's just like with food, everything, uh, you know, I never dreamed that even vegetables were causing issues for me, you know, and, and they do. They make me feel extremely bloated 
very, very quickly. If I eat one fucking piece of green bean or something that falls out of the can as I'm, you know, putting it in a container to freeze for my mother, you know, the leftovers, um, it, it, it's amazing how little it takes to make me feel the effects of that stuff. So I'm just not going back to that. And like I said, I, I this is the way I choose to die. I choose to die a meathead. Um, anyway, but not that I'm dying, you know, <laughs> I don't want anybody to think that. I'm mean, not, not because of my illnesses and uh, not because of the meat. Nothing's going to kill me yet. So, um, what else? What else did I want to talk about? Was there anything? I don't know, but uh, I guess that's going to be it because I just want to get home. I'm a little thirsty, and as always, I have to pee, so I'm going to go, and um, just not looking forward to next week at all. I uh, <sighs> just not. Um, all right, that's it. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye.